it's in, it's just in. Come on. Come on. All right, babe, come on. All right, seeing as we're here in Devon just for a couple days, I have come with a genius, genius plan, but also a weird theory. Now, as you can see, today, today is the miraculously 22nd of February, 2022, yeah? So, I know we've been following angel numbers, and I'm not specifically saying that today is anything of any kind of significance or important, right. though granted, if I were to say go over here to the significance, spiritual significance of 2222, uh, the divine message from the angels through the numbers 22222 is that you're on the right path towards attaining spiritual enlightenment. Your guardian angels confirm that you should continue walking in the spiritual direction that you choose without feeling guilty about it. Maybe people have criticized you for your decisions that you made. You may have lost friends in the process of choosing this past. Based on 22222, meaning there's nothing to feel guilty about, keep walking, continue believing in your guardian angels. Now listen. I know it's been a rough couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah, but no, nah, we're back on it. We're back freaking yeah. on it. So, the death whistle. Mm -hmm. Now, any idiot can walk into a building with a death whistle, blow it, and hope to see whatever happens. Yeah. Right? Not us. I have been doing my research. Now, according to this, the death whistle was used during ancient Aztec death ceremonies, okay? Right. Essentially, they would use it. It was supposed to represent, obviously, the screaming death of someone, while also in some way representing, they, they theorized the wind, which would make sense considering our vocal cords, we create air to yeah. make noises. So it's gotta be quite loud. And I know it's already quite loud, but I don't think it's loud enough. Enter. Oh no. My secret. Well, we can, because I chose a place where no one's going to find out we're using this. All right? That's going to be really loud. I just want you to confirm to everyone that it works. Just say something. Hello. Oh, God. Really? It works. All right. So, death whistle plus megaphone equals creating a very, very, very loud noise. But who is the noise meant to be calling? Right. Who is the noise meant to be calling in Aztec religion? Uh, Take a guess. If the death whistle is you, okay, think about it. If the death whistle is blown during a uh, sacrificial ceremony, sometimes involving cannibalism, and d bingo. Really? Yes. Interestingly enough, though, as it says here, the death, uh, the person who was sacrificed and sometimes eaten, was always buried with the death whistle that was used during their ceremony. That's real. Yeah, that's real. What do you mean by eaten? And why was it? Why were they buried with the um, with the whistle? Nobody knows. Nobody actually knows. But speaking of death gods, some things are starting to make a little bit of sense here. Okay. So we got the Aztec death god. Good luck pronouncing his name. I think it's Mclanticotli. Mclanticotli. Something like that, right? I could be pronouncing it completely wrong, but he was the Aztec god of death, who basically was uh, essentially the equivalent of Hades, right? right. While the opposite would be uh, Quetzalcoatl, which, funny enough, I've actually been to these pyramids in Mexico a long, long, long time ago. Yeah, I've, I've been here, I've done all of that, right? Okay. What is a death god's mission? Is it like a Grim Reaper kind of thing? Like... Well, what does the Grim Reaper do? Well, when somebody dies, he takes their soul. Where? Heaven or hell? Well, in Aztec religion, neither existed. Really? Yes. Okay. They all go to the same place, which is essentially the underworld, right? Oh, okay, the all right. The land okay. of the dead. I have a weird thought, but maybe... I know we've been guessing maybe it's a stone tape theory. Yeah, yeah. Because when we blow it, we seem to get a lot of activity. Responses, like, almost yeah. immediately. And it seems to be the voices of the spirits of the house, is yeah. it not? What if when we're blowing the whistle, we're actually calling upon an Aztec... Uh, what? Well, the Aztec version, I guess, of the Grim Reaper or Death God, bringing the souls, coming up, bringing the souls to the underworld. And that's why we're hearing these lost and trapped spirits freaking the hell out because they're being taken okay. from their home. Now, I can't prove this yet. I was going to say, what, what yet, the evidence from that one? I can't prove it yet, okay. but I want to try and prove this tonight. I want to see, I want to test this tonight and see if we 
could actually manage okay. to find out if there's any proof in this theory I have. I'll be straight up. Mm. I've never minded the, the death whistle. It hasn't bothered me. Okay. Um, but now, now you've said that the whole like summoning like a death god's a bit... <laughs> I'll do it. Obviously, I've, well, I've been doing it for ages with you, so I don't care. But I thought it was just obviously... Listen. By chance, you know, just... Maybe we, with a, a spirit was just awoken from it. I didn't realize it was like a death god thing. So. so just think about it. We frequently work with demons, angels, and yeah, of course, yeah. the dead. Yeah. Okay. It's not implausible to think that maybe because of the results we get, and maybe it does awaken something. Maybe not exactly the uh, originally thought Aztec death god, because mm -hmm. who knows which organized religion was correct or not. But maybe just an entity that takes souls. Okay. So, have tonight, you dealt with this before? Anything on the, along those lines? Mm, not necessarily the Grim Reaper, demons, yes. So, here I have a place I've chosen. It's called the South Effort House. Ironically, it is built in a Mexican style building from back in the day, built in the 1700s. Okay. Okay. It's haunted by four spirits. Right. Right? You have a ferryman, you have a naval officer. The creepy one is the hanging man. So it's a hanging servant who apparently hung himself off the staircase, and he's seen. Oh god! But the last, the last, is a little girl who, after she passed away, the tenants actually have documented in a book that in the middle of the night, the late later tenants had kids with toys. The toys would end up being moved and played with, out, like in the hallway at night, while they were asleep, and they could hear even a tricycle they had just rolling down the hallway. That's okay. where we're going tonight. Okay. So what I'm going to try and figure out is if we can get any kind of plausible proof mm -hmm. that this whistle we've been messing with, this Aztec death whistle right here, well, it was right here anyway, does summon some kind of entity to withdraw the souls down to the underworld you from where they came. I, I don't want to, like... Jinx anything, but it's saying here the hanging servant was found dangling from a piece of rope over the staircase, and another one was found hanging in the garden during the Civil War. Nice. So there's been a lot of uh, hangings and stuff. Do you think? I don't know. Like I'm saying, I'll do it. I'll happily do it. I'm just thinking, do you think it's sensible with four like renowned and known kind of spirits? I'm be honest like, with, with you. I've dealt with one or two with you in a I think before. To be honest with you, I think we're already in way over our heads, but that's why we are going to continue with this thing. But the thing is, I don't want to just sit around trying to guess what it does. I want to figure out we'll what it out does. Yeah. Why does so much activity happen? Mm. Why does so many bad things also seem to happen yeah. using this? No, I said that to you. I said that in the last video. I, I think it was the last video I said to you. Ever since you bought that bloody whistle, I remember the exact day you got this because you messaged me when it arrived. And ever since you've been playing around with this, everything's just gone horribly wrong. Mm. So, and I don't normally believe in all this kind of stuff. I don't. I normally just say, oh, you know, it's coincidence, it's fate, whatever. Um, but to be honest, this is like the first proper thing I'm very curious to find out more about. So, I know. That's well, it. Yeah, I'm cool to try it out. I just, I just wanted to obviously, like, full disclaimer, just sort of ask, because it's sensible to <laughs> four spirits. I don't know. Well, look, like I said, today is the perfect day. If angel numbers mean anything to us, it's two, 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 two. Yeah. Okay. It's our last day in Devon. Let's just do it. Okay. Let's just knock this out the park. Okie dokie. <laughs> All right, happy 1919, babe. Now listen, I've been doing my research here. Yeah. On the Aztec God of Death, okay? What I find interesting is he essentially, their form of the devil is, it's a human skeleton covered with blood and viscera um, who basically watches over the dead and directs them towards the correct version of their afterlife. Okay. Right? So those that die from childbirth, war, um, disease, things like that, they take a four-year trial and they end up finding, you know, an everlasting peace while those who die of bad things end up suffering. Right. Now, he is also known to have a pet dog and a pet owl, both with human skulls for heads, which is quite disturbing. Obviously yeah. covered with muscle, flesh, oh. blood, the whole lot. Uh, you know what I find more interesting, though, as I'm, uh, <laughs> as I'm thinking about it? That's an Aztec death god. Right. All right? Obviously, this is early native Mexicans. Yeah. 
Now, religion seems to find its way to kind of morph throughout time. Now, I'm going to turn the light on for two seconds. Okay. You know what I realized? I have Santa Muerte tattooed on my wrist. Saint Death. I literally have the later created Aztec Death God tattooed on my arm. And I got that back in the day when I was slinging dope for certain purposes. If anyone wants to Google why I would have got that tattooed, you're more than welcome to. I, I do kind of feel like we may be onto something here. Okay. But th this is quite quite horrific, to be honest Hang with you. When did you get that tattoo? Years ago, back when I was slinging dope. Oh, oh. Shit. Yeah, that long ago. It, it, we're talking a decade ago. Shit. <sighs> right. We may be dealing with something really dark, and I'm highly doubting if I blow that death whistle into a megaphone in this 1700s Mexican-style house, haunted house, I highly doubt we're going to have a skeleton covered with flesh with eyeballs and viscera. Yeah, the chance that I slipped in on. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't... I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think one's going to start creeping into the room, no, but if it does... No. Just accept that we've done nothing wrong, it won't and we will be accepted to the nicest parts of hell. But it's not going to happen. It's all good. No, but what I do fear is that the spirits that are trapped in this house are going to be guided into the afterlife. Yeah, I was going to say I'm I'm more fearful of the fact that there's four spirits as well. So that's I know it's a bit silly, but when there's one, I, that, you know, I can deal with that. But I've never been to property with so many, and they're all documented. So these are like oh, yeah, known no. spirits of this house. So. They're, they're well documented spirits of this house. Yeah. Right, let's just get there and try it out. I think we're gonna do our usual method. We're gonna test and see if there's, first off, any kind of spirit contact immediately. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna blow the death whistle through the megaphone and we're gonna see if that makes a huge difference because as I said, this Aztec death god requires it to be as loud as a raging wind. Yeah. Okay, it needs to be howling loud. I'm quite nervous for this because every single time we've done this, this death whistle, every time something's happened, and I'm just like, I really, I'm terrified of the thought of using the megaphone because it's going to be so enhanced, so. I know, but. I think that's what shits me up more. It's not, it's not the actual what's going to happen. It's more the actual initial sound. It's, it's just chilling, especially when you're actually stood there. Listen, okay. if we're going for it, full blown for answers. Oh yeah, we've got we, to do it. We have to go yeah, full yeah, blown. To. We have to go, <laughs> nut up or shut up as I say yeah. where I'm from. Nut up or shut up. <laughs> Right, how long do till we're there? Eight, um, 18 minutes? Yeah, 18 minutes. All right, brilliant. Let's get this over with. Okay, so we're literally just a moment away. Ooh. All right, apparently it's up here on the left. I don't know how tight this lane gets. Um, oh, that'll be fine. Let's just see any moment now. Oh, it's fine, it's a big lane. Okay, so keep your eyes peeled on the left, my Le map's saying. Yeah, it'll be on the left. Um, what's that? Hang on. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, there, 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 this is it. This there. is it. Okay. Do me a favor. Just turn your brights on on it. Oh, this chains all right. Yeah, I'll not, just park here then. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to go all the way okay. up. Well, actually, I should probably turn off those. Um, it'll be a bit more discreet. That's all right. all right. I think that's the best she can do. All right, there she is, haunted by four spirits and about to have. Potentially an Aztec death god inside with us. Just really worried about that building. It's so beautiful yet really freaky at the same time. It's just because we know the history. Look up there. There we are. Look. 1760. Can you see it at the top of the building? Uh, my camera. I'll get a better look when we get out the car. Oh, yeah, that's what year it was made. 1760. It's right up there. Yeah. Bloody hell. All right. I think we should make this quick. And not draw attention to ourselves. Yeah. We'll take all the time we need anyway. But let's go. Okay. All right. With the chain and towards ooh, the house. Why do you hate this place so much? It's just freaky. Like, I can appreciate the beauty, but I just don't like the thought of it. Well, I just want to get a quick view of it from back here. Because I want to show everyone the style it was built in. Yeah, now, yeah. Anyone in the US or the southern states would recognize that this is the style of a, uh, well, basically, Mexican American. And that day is 1760 when it was built. Haunted by four spirits, 
well documented everywhere. Let's go in and see what happens. I feel a little on edge, to be honest with you. But it's an experiment I've been wanting to carry out so long that I'm just kind of like, we got to do it. Yeah. Don't mind my for some reason. No, we'll be all right. Just come around back because there should be an opening in the back window. Let's just hope we're the only people inside. Right, do you know the entry? Say again? Do you know where the entry is? Yeah, I do. It's just over here. For some reason, they've never sealed it up, so... It's always been the back window here. Are you okay? Yeah. Sorry, no. It was a, <laughs> it was a tree touched my back, sorry. Oh. Okay. Right, well, hold this for two seconds for me. I'm gonna just put on a pair of Sorry, gloves. I'm already getting so sketched out. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, I hope. Oh. I think after everything that's happened, I'm just kind of, fuck it. I'm not sure if it's the Red Bull or just the general in place that's making me like really sketched out right now. Well, I'm on like high alert. <laughs> I think two Red Bulls weren't a good idea before I did this. <laughs> Lucky for you, I'll be the first one going in. Oh shit. But don't forget, there is one spirit that haunts the outside of this property. Yeah, brilliant. Do you want to up? Pass me on the back. Yeah, yeah, just let's just fuck off. <laughs> it's a pheasant. Oh. It's a pheasant. I just saw it before. Brilliant. Just hand me my bag, it's fine. Oh god. I thought that was a person stood there for a second. Don't get freaked out. But it looks like there's a person stood there. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, it's not. I know it's not. You have okay. yeah, a bramble in your hair, and you walked right back into it. Ladies first. Oh, yeah, go on. Men just before. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Yeah, it's in rough condition. The toilet is just hanging over the edge. Well, perfect, I need the toilet. Brilliant. Now, what freaks me out more than the toilet hanging over the edge is this wall. You can't really tell. Yeah, you can. Yeah, it's the wall's completely bowed in. This place is ready to collapse at any point. Oh shit, I almost walked into that. Does this not trip you out? This was built over 300 years ago. I think this is probably the oldest building I've ever been in. No, because you've been in the ancient ram in. How old's that? Oh, like 1100. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. okay. No, this ain't the oldest building ever. This now, is the oldest one. Be so careful. Do not slice your head or your ankles on the glass. Donnie, you're Yeah, do you mind the... I've got it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot about that. I don't know, it just sounded like someone talking. Here, just come on in. Mind your head. I know, I know. Let's just have a look at the bottom level. I don't trust the top level, I'm gonna be honest with you. I came here about a year ago. Look at these walls. Yeah, they're all bound in. Yeah, I came here a year ago and it was so bad I couldn't actually walk around that much. Yeah. Um, I couldn't imagine how much has deteriorated in a year. Okay, 
just have a look. Let's just have a look down here. Okay, so I believe one of the servants hung himself off this staircase here. Upstairs in the hallway, I believe it's upstairs. Oh, wow. They say the little girl haunts. But look, you, this is why, for anyone in the future who wants an urbex, this is why you don't walk on staircases like this. You see how the stairs have disattached themselves oh, from their nice. points? That means it's not safe to walk on those. No. Even the staircase is self the if you look out of the shadow that it's walked to the left. Yeah. Yeah, this place is where it's going. Okay. Let's just see what's down here. Just empty rooms. Deteriorating walls. I do believe this was, in its latest years, turned into a care home. So on top of the four known hauntings, a lot of people did die here. Yeah. Just from their That's old age. Like yeah. Hmm. Yeah, tell you what, this place is a great vibe. No, it's not okay. Should we take a peek upstairs? I think this staircase still looks intact. Hello? I don't know. Look, I'm gonna try and go upstairs for two seconds just to have a look so everyone can see where the little girl haunts. Watch out for that moth on the stair. Oh, Just don't touch it, it won't fly off. <coughs> you're all right, you're all right. Yeah, these floors are ready to cave in. Yeah, no, these are weak and spongy. You realize these holes in the floor are not from natural decay. That's somebody stepping and busting their foot through the floor. Sorry, just two seconds. Just want to have a look in the hallway where the little girl plays. Which is here. So this here, guys, is the hallway where a little girl haunts in the middle of the night. Do you just tap on something? I just heard a tap next to me. Next to you? Yeah, like right here. Okay, so. i thinking we should do it in this big family room in here. I feel like the room is big enough, it'll resonate through the majority of the building. So how much? Three old lifts? Yeah, it's for disabled people. Oh, and that's your front door, right? Oh yeah, there's the front door. Mm -hmm. Completely boarded off on the other side. It's huge, isn't it? Okay, so you want to do it in the first room? I want it in this room here. This room just gives me vibes like no tomorrow. Shh, shh, shh. Oh well, yeah, close it, close it, it's fine. Yeah, I heard that. Sounds like someone moaning in pain. Yeah. Oh, that's an owl. Oh. Yeah. I was gonna say it just didn't matter. No, that one's an owl. Oh, Don't worry about it. Sorry. Right. You definitely sure, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Right. Take this from me. Calling out to the four spirits of the South Effort House. We can hear you knocking about, we can hear your voice. 
Where are you? I know I'm here. Anymore. There was a tap over there. I'm going to do an experiment here tonight that I hope you're okay with. If you've been trapped here for hundreds of years and my experiment goes to plan, I might be able to save you. I can see the bars moving on the thing. Let's just see what happens. There's something there. There sounds like something there. It's like, I'm okay. Oh, whoops. Yeah, maybe. maybe. I'm okay. Someone there too. Hold on. Shit, that was a full sentence. So I'm sitting right here. I think it's a standing. Standing right here, sitting right here. Lots of bangs. Yeah. Shit, what was that? I don't know. Check something. Or time to go, I don't know. I don't know. I can't make sense of that. So, Jesus hold Christ. On, hold on, hold on, Hang on, play on, that on. again? No. I don't want you to save me. Maybe some of the lines of I don't want you to save me. That's the end of that. Jesus Christ. That's fucking weird. Well, I've never heard sentences that long. No. I'll listen back to it in post, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Is it worth trying Tesla? Quickly? Well, that's what I was going to do. Okay. Because there's a child spirit here that liked to play with the toys. Maybe yeah. just maybe. Tesla. Okay. If the spirit of the little girl is still here who plays with the toys, I have a teddy bear for you. You're more than welcome to play with it all you want. I'm hearing, but I'm hearing noises. I know, I was going to say, I can hear loads of tapping, but I don't think it's strong enough to actually be heard. Over there, it's done it three times now. Something's tapping over there, but I'm not sure what. It sounds like water falling, but there's nowhere in this room that's actually wet. So I don't know what's making the sound, but... And hold that a second. Yeah. I just want to believe it now. Just 
You can still hear that weird noise. Same way, yeah. Same way, yeah. Same way, same way, hear it knocking, but I, I can't work out where it's actually coming from. Right. I, I got to try the theory. Yeah. Are you doing it with a megaphone? I'm going to do it with a megaphone. I'm quite nervous about it because it's one thing to hear the scream through the whistle. It's another thing to amplify it a hundredfold. Mm. Seriously, this is going to get loud. Oh, fuck. Okay. Do you hear that again, or the tapping on the left? Yeah. Oh, right. fuck. I hear it everywhere. If there's one thing we cannot do this time, no matter what happens, unlike the murders, no running away. Okay. There's no quick exit anyway. No, I was going to say so we can't get for that door quickly, so... Keep it calm. Right, this is the first experiment to see if amplifying the noise intensifies the reaction. You know what's more freaky though? You hear that owl we're listening to? Mm -hmm. The owl is one of the death god, the acid death god's pets. Is it? Oh shit. Yeah. So, quite interesting. Ooh. As you said the word death god, it went off. I'm not ready for this, but let's just do it. Oh, why is it starting? Shit. Why is it starting? Do you know what I'm about to do? Do you actually know what I'm about to do? The light just blinked and there's a tap in the next room. For those okay. who may have not heard it on the camera, there was just a very loud footstep. No, nah, that's so scary. In the next room. That thing just gave us two huge bursts of EMF. There's obviously no power in here. Okay. So, we just kind of played it quiet for a minute hmm. because we're concerned about the noises. We're just making sure it wasn't actually someone actually coming into the building. There's clearly nobody here. No, there's not. I'm going to be dead, deathly honest with you. I'm really shitting myself in this. It's one thing to have the death whistle on its own. It's another thing to have it amplified like this. So. Especially in a place like this. Are the spirits here ready for me to try and see what happens? I said, are the spirits here ready for the death whistle? Just, just do it, please. Send it. <laughs> Send it. Oh, God. I can't believe how loud that was. That, that surely was heard like blocks, miles at least. Oh my God. That actually is freaking me out of a tree. Oh, fuck. What's that? No. What the fuck is that? Sounds like the death whistle. What the fuck was that? That sounded like the death whistle. Someone's Are you outside. recording? Someone's outside. Someone's no. outside. Stop, stop, stop. Are you recording? Yes. So it's, didn't, it's not just playing back the footage no, we just did? No. No, look, it's recording. Shh. How the fuck does that happen? Stop. 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 My hands are full. Stop. 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 No, that just sounded like the death whistle. No, it didn't. It did to me. It was mumbling.
How loud was it from your end when I blew it? Really, really loud. Really? Really loud. Do it. Do it yourself. Do I want I want to hear it from your end. I want to hear what you heard. Do it again. Seriously, do it again. You know how to blow the death whistle, right? And use that. Just hold that in front of that. And just see what happens. Yeah, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. I want to hear from your end. Um, how'd you turn this on? The on button. That one? It says on? The one that says on. Not Mike? No. That's it. I want, I want to hear what you just heard because from my end it felt so powerful using that. You blow on the top, purse your lips around the top and blow into it with the megaphone in front of it. Shh. Right behind you, there was a noise. Just chill, chill. I hear that, I hear that. Shh, 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 listen. Well, sounds like there's people out there. No, I'll tell you, once. you got nothing to worry about because if it is people, they just think someone got brutally murdered in here. They ain't coming in here. Hello? Is your soul set free? Is someone coming after you? The bars are moving heavily on this. Does that truly contact some kind of Aztec Grim Reaper? There's something tapping here. Who has stood here in the corner? Tell me now. Look away. What? Look away. Look away at what? Don't face, don't face the corner. Every time you look away, something happens. Take it, just take the camera. Just take the camera. Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god, did you hear that? Did you hear the laugh? That's why. Oh, did it! Tap, 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 tap! It's saying tap. That's laughing at first. It's saying tap. That bit. It sounds like it's laughing, but it's also saying tap, tap, tap. There's something there too. I don't know what to say. Whoa, whoa. What? No, that's you saying look away. Oh, it was me. Okay, okay. And then I stopped recording. But hold on. This shit is fucked, yo. Listen to this. Wow. 
I don't like that. Maniacal laughing. No, I don't like that. It contacts something. It contacts fucking something. I'm telling you now, I don't know what exactly, but whenever we use that whistle, this horrible voice comes through, and that was pure maniacal. Like, ha, 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 ha. That was sinister. I mean, the bear hasn't gone off at all since then. The bear acknowledged the fact we were about to use it. Hello? Nothing? Would it be worth trying the S-Box instead? It's all, they all run on the same frequency. Oh I shit. Had a, I had a plan though. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Right, listen. I'm gonna find a good wall to do this on. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you're gonna do it, uh, maybe over there. That bit of wall looks pretty good. Um, if not there, what about that chalk, uh, not chalk plaster? Yeah, I'm saving that here. I've saved it in my galleries. It's a symbol. What the hell is that? the death god. You're gonna try and draw that? Yeah. It won't be hard. Just to see if it makes any kind of difference. Okay. So why are you doing this one? This is his symbol. So this is the symbol for the Aztec. The Aztec. This is okay. his symbol. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know if it'll make any difference whatsoever, but it's worth a shot. Has to be complete. Even these tablets online are showing it's not fully complete, but I'll do the best I can. Okay. 
Um, there's no asbestos in all this. There probably is. I guarantee these walls are full of asbestos. It's a, what, 19, not 19, 1760s building. 1700. Sorry, fucking know what am I saying? Oh, shit. How much bigger are you doing it? Jesus Christ, you're this not going to have this space. Final, this is the final circle. That's it. That is it. Yeah, it's going to freak people out coming into this building in the future. That's for damn sure. Right, so what's that supposed to achieve from here? Don't know yet. Only one way to find out. Obviously, the spirit box ain't working. That's just decided not to fucking go off anymore. The whole time I've been filming, I, mean, I can just hear so many knocks, taps, bumps. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna go find you. I'm gonna find you. Shh, shh, stop, stop. What the fuck was that? That sounded supernatural as fuck. Whatever that was. I fucking hate this place. It sounds like instruments. I hate that, this. It just sounds like some weird instruments being played. Well, don't get closer. Yeah, it could be. Okay, theory time. <clears throat> theory time. I'm gonna come find you. Don't get closer. What if I was right? What if I was right that there's some kind of entity, a grim reaper of a sort, coming here to collect the souls? I'm gonna come find you. They're running around the building and saying, don't come closer. They're like, yo, don't come closer. I don't know, babe. What were the other EVPs we caught? Sorry, my mind is literally... I heard the tap, tap, tap and the sniggering. And the horrible laughing. Yeah. I noticed as well, as soon as you blew it, that bear has not made a sound since. Do you think if the little girl was in the room, she'd have run a, like, head? You never know. To be honest with you, I wouldn't be surprised if that thing just scares all ghosts away for the most part. It scares the shit out of us. It's terrifying. What the fuck? Did that scare you? I'm covered in culture. I was going to say, I've just got the fucking... Hang on, let me turn it this way. Oh, sorry. Oh. It's not going to set up, darling. If you're here in the room with us, can you light this bear up?
Are you the little girl? Tap in the corner. I'm sorry if we scared you. Babe, I think we've got bigger problems than scaring a little girl. No, you, but... Did you not hear those EVPs? Yes, of course. I don't know if it's us who are in danger. I don't know if it causes the spirits. No, this is what I'm, I'm theorising. Hmm. That I think when you blew that, they've all ran and hidden. And as soon as I said that, that bear's gone off. And I think you frightened that the spirit. Make, that but there's a the bigger reason why. What, yeah, about I was say. Maniacal, what about the maniacal laughing? And that's what I'm saying. There's a bigger reason as to why. They're scared, but I don't know why. I don't know if it was just the whistle. You don't think, right? They can't prove or disprove this either way. But you remember how the dead spirit or the, the dead bodies of those sacrificed mm. had the whistle with them? Yes. They can't actually prove who blew the whistle, can they? No. Do you think by me blowing the whistle, I put a target on my own back? And maybe in I turn, not. you've done that to yourself because you've now blown it. I, I really hope not. This is why I told you from day one I didn't want to mess with that thing. I know. Freaks me out. Look at it, can you imagine just walking in and seeing that? Try to hope that the police aren't waiting for us thinking someone has just been murdered in the building. Yeah. Well, as long as police are not allowed to run here. Police are not a what? Oh, a landowner, you said. Huh? You said police said not a landowner. I don't care if it's police or something. If it's a landowner, I don't like that. Right, I'll let you go up first. Oh, there's a bat in there. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> where, 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 where? It's, where? In, it's just no, in... No, no, no. Calm. No, no. Put your hood. Oh! No, 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 no. All right, babe, come oh, on, quick. Oh, come on, come here. Oh. It's out the room, it's out the room. Oh, my God. It's just a bat. Sorry, it's just a bat. Right. Go first. I'll go last. It's just a bat. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, it's just a bat. No, I know, I know. I just hate because they fly at the light in the dark. Alright, well then, how about you get out so I can get out too? <laughs> All right. Ah, fuck. Nothing, it's fine. It's just a bat. Take this, please. Take my bag. I've got no more hands. I know, there's a bat in the room with me. I'm trying to get out. Just, just throw the bag out, throw the bag out. I've got no hands free. Pull that away. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> Let me get out. <sighs> Shit. Before I get mauled by a fucking bat. Right, take the camera. Yeah, let's just go back to the car now. Okay. Right. All I can do is analyze the EVPs that we got from using the death whistle and try to see if I can come up with any kind of story relating to, well, what message they're trying to provide with what we've caught. But to me, it sounded like something really dark was contacting us. And then it sounded like there may or may not have been a conversation between two entities. Whatever it was, it was really sinister. No, Look at that place. It wasn't like... happy with us. Right, it doesn't matter. Look. Every time we use it, we're going to learn more and more about it. Yeah. But this is also opening up my eyes into maybe acquiring some more ancient spirit communication tools. Yeah. From maybe different religions even, and just see what happens. Mm. Right. I guess I'm satisfied. Yeah, is that tapping? It's probably it is. Look, um, everyone, we're going to start heading back. Uh, this is our last night here, so we made the most of it. We filmed everything we could, and you'll never know where we'll end up next. But look, everyone, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, first off, make sure to go subscribe to fucking my partner, Kaylee Colson Explorers. But also, make sure to subscribe to me, keep following, and we're going to take this deeper than any other YouTube channel has ever taken it. Now before you go, click this link right here. It's an absolute banger of a video. Don't even think about it, just click it and we'll end it as we always do. Do you believe yet? Yeah?